Right, well, welcome back to Bill's comment page uh, video cast, the second part for the 11th of May, Sunday, 2008. Um, I'm still continuing with my preparations for uh, lunch. Uh, I'm just about to put the chicken on in the next few moments. It's going to be uh, sauteed uh, in a little bit of butter and olive oil uh, with some herbs to go with it and brine both sides basically, the usual thing and then let it cook quite slowly for about half an hour 40 minutes uh, with a lid on the pan so it keeps the juices in and uh, that will be very nice the, the juices can be used to cover the steamed asparagus um, once that's been cooked um, and the chicken will sit on some rocket which to be quite frank it's one of my favourite uh, salad uh, leaves um, anyway I'm just going to get that on now just switching the gas on right to get back to the sordid subject of British politics We're going to have um, several weeks of fun, I suspect, whilst the argument between the um, London Labour Party and the Scottish Labour Party, at least Wendy Alexander, as to what should happen, and I wonder which if either of them will be in post the next time an election is held in either Westminster or Edinburgh. I'm listening to Radio 3 at the moment, as you can perhaps hear in the background over the noise of the fan above the cooker. Um, it's supposed to be a music of listeners' favourites and the music that's playing at the moment isn't my favourite, I can tell you. There was a lovely programme until, from 1 until 2, which was about Bach and his time in Leipzig, after he left Kutten. And uh, anyway, it was playing some of his music, which I adore. But that's not what we're getting at the moment. Um, Now, apart from the uh, possibility of having a referendum in Scotland as it affects Scotland, um, of course we've had a flurry of biographies or autobiographies more precisely being released this weekend. Um, or just before the weekend, we've got Lord Levy, who was on the uh, ITV politics programme this morning, or was it the BBC one, I can't honestly remember, explaining himself, which was interesting to hear, I'll just leave it like that, there may be lawyers watching, um, and uh, then Thursday or Friday it was announced that Sherry Blair's uh, memoirs are going to be published um, several months ahead of schedule and there is debate as to whether this is designed to help or to hinder Gordon Brown. Well, I have my views on the subject. I don't think she is by nature someone who is desirous particularly of helping Gordon Brown. On the other hand, she seems, poor lady, to be a loyal Labour Party member, so perhaps she thinks it will help the Labour Party, I don't know. Um, and then of course we have uh, John Prescott, who um, is launching his memoirs and telling us how he was basically the ringmaster 
between Blair and Brown. Well, frankly, I don't know if I believe any of this nonsense, but uh, he may well have uh, helped, I suppose, to keep them from physical altercation. Uh, if the rumours be true, I don't know. I'm an expert on the relationship of Brown and Blair. Um, of course, Mr. Prescott, poor man, recently announced that he suffered from bulimia. Uh, but in fact, if he was bulimia, it doesn't seem to have worked because he's not a small man. Um, so, as someone in another blog said at the time, um, Guido Fox, let's be uh, frank about it, he basically called it gluttony, and I think that's probably the more accurate term. Um, making oneself up chuck one's food simply to be able to eat more, which is not generally speaking what your classic bulimic does it for, I don't think. Um, anyway, who buys all these political um, spewings, autobiographies? Even I didn't buy Margaret Thatcher's. And has Michael Hard produced one? I don't know. I certainly haven't bought it. If he has, then I wouldn't buy it. I have read a few. The only one I have um, purchased with my own money in recent times was a book of letters uh, of correspondence between Ronald Reagan when he was President of the United States and various people around America, various Americans who wrote to him, some regularly, some less frequently, and I thought his letters were really very nice. I wouldn't buy Clinton's. I uh, have got a a, a memoir published many years ago by Henry Kissinger, uh, but that was really more political. Um, and I thought interesting in its own right, given the job he did as Secretary of State. Um, but whether it be by Wilson or by Callahan or by Cameron, should he ever become Prime Minister and ultimately write his memoirs or an autobiography, I doubt if we'll be buying that either. Anyway, I'm going to stop now. I'm just warbling on. Um, I'm going to continue seriously with getting my lunch ready and enjoy it before the afternoon gets too much older. It's now about 2.30 and I generally eat it at about 3 o'clock. Okay, there we go. Have a good Sunday and uh, I'll probably be blogging in writing on my blog in the next day or two as well, I have no doubt. Bye for now.